Live team coverage now with KTVU's Brooks Jaros. He's in downtown Santa Rosa for us tonight where the temperatures keep dropping. Brooks. Yeah, we're feeling it out here, Julie. From the time the sun went down till now, the temperature just kept going down, down, down. And I just checked the KTVU weather app, and it actually says we're at 38 degrees right now, but with the wind chill, it feel, feels like 35 degrees. I actually had to break out the gloves. And there's also the, a freeze warning that goes into effect from midnight tonight until 9 tomorrow morning. It's just down hailing. The freezing was first seen in Santa Rosa as hail and sleet posted to Twitter as temperatures fell. It's cold. It can't get much colder. Those without a home waited for the city's warming center to open at Catholic Charities downtown. This is really tough. Here, have a sleeping bag. Join us. <laughs> Dozens are expected to visit overnight amid a freeze warning. And the many homeless people will die out here getting real uh, down to those freezing temperatures and um, a lot of elderly are out here also. For those with a roof, there's still a cause for concern. We know people are using wall heaters, floor heaters, fireplaces, so making sure that they've been serviced regularly, they've been checked on. Uh, this is the time of year we get a lot of chimney fires with just people not properly maintaining them, overloading them. Best advice, make sure carbon monoxide detectors and smoke alarms are ready and working. But the preparation doesn't stop there. We'll run some irrigation and make sure that uh, the soil uh, in our tree boxes is moist. Moon Valley Nursery's been fielding calls over fears of frost. Their 25 varieties of citrus trees are tucked away in this large greenhouse. A pro tip, if you can't bring a smaller plant or tree inside, simply cover it with a cloth. Just over the top of the canopy, and the leaves are really what you're protecting. That's what uh, can take the damage uh, from the frost above. And it's good to have moist soil below and uh, that way the soil can retain the heat and uh, not freeze as easily as dried soil and, and dry roots. And the root of this winter storm and cold is just beginning to bite. We've seen already some accidents. We've seen uh, trees into homes. We've seen power outages. Um, and that is the, the first of what could be several days of, of some wild weather. Word to the wise, stay home if you can and check on your neighbors and community members, knowing there's probably one thing on their minds. The weather. <laughs> if I cry, it's going to be icicles. Now, city officials are also concerned because they don't expect the temperatures to rebound for several days. So that means there could be a constant cold. Then you add on top of it potential freezing rain and wind. You could have power outages. And that is why they're stressing that these warming centers are also charging stations to make sure everyone can keep connected during this winter storm. Live in Santa Rosa tonight, Brooks to Rose, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Brooks, yesterday it was the powerful winds. Tonight it's the frigid temperatures. It doesn't look very windy at all where you are tonight. Just cold, right? A little breezy, but nothing much compared to yesterday. It has just been the cold temperatures. If you spend any time outside after about five or ten minutes, you're ready to go back in. Yeah, a lot of people hunkering down tonight. Brooks, thank you. Well, snow fell.